determination means to keep our intention above our emotion. All of us have emotions. Sometimes I feel like doing this, sometimes I don't feel like doing it. So our emotions will come and go. Determination means we keep our intention above our emotion. That whether I feel like doing it or I don't feel like doing it, I will persevere. And how do we do this? That comes when our intention comes from something bigger than our emotions. There was a Nobel laureate author. He was asked, do you write every day or do you write only when you are inspired? He said, I write only when I am inspired and I ensure that I am inspired every morning at 9 a.m. <laughs> now what that means is that actually inspiration is very fickle. So we have to be receptive for inspiration to come. And some days when we are receptive, inspiration comes. Some days when we are receptive, also inspiration doesn't come. But we can't depend on inspiration. Now that is where our intention comes in. When we say inspiration, inspiration is something which almost comes without our control. Suddenly one day I feel inspired. Now we may go for a class and we feel very inspired after the class. And some days we go for the class and we feel I have heard all this so many times. And what is the point? So we don't feel at all inspired. So inspiration is something which is external to us. And external in the sense that it can come from outside us, from, from the devotees around us, from the speakers, from the, from the seeing other devotees serving dedicatedly. Or it can just suddenly come within us by its own accord. Some days we feel, yes, you know, I have to do this service. I have to study Shastra, I have to chant. We feel inspired. Some days that inspiration is no longer there. So uh, one reason is that sometimes inspiration, we get some success and then we feel inspired. And some days we just don't get that success and we feel what is the point of doing this. But if we are goal driven, then we will feel there's no result is coming, what is the use of doing it? But if we are purpose driven, my purpose is to serve Krishna. I'm a servant of Krishna and this is what I'm meant to do. And sometimes the external result will manifest, sometimes it may not manifest. If we become purpose driven in this way, then no matter what situation comes in our life, we will persevere. And, so, and it may be sometimes the results don't come. But for some time they may not come, after some time they will start coming. And thus, by being purpose driven in our life, this is what Krishna instructs the Gopas, that you know, this is your service. Now, if you are going as beggars, sometimes you may get the results, sometimes you may not get the results. Now, we normally don't think of ourselves as beggars. We think, I am working hard, I am doing this job, I have made this planning, I have got the skill, so I should get the result. Yes, we, may, we are not physically begging from anyone, but actually, the exact point there is not that they are beggars. The point is that we are not the control, we are not the determiners of the result. In begging, that is very graphically evident. We can't force a, a person giving charity to give the charity. But in life also, we can't force results to come. We may study to the best of our capacity for a competitive exam and still, you know, maybe the question paper comes in such a way that we are not able to do well. We prepare very well for an interview, but still we may not be selected. We may plan very nicely to do a particular service, but still it may not work out. So in the sense that we alone are not the determiners of the result. In that sense, Krishna's instruction applies to all of us. That we have to put in our endeavor and sometimes the results will come, sometimes they will not come. But the important thing is if we have put in the endeavor, then we will get the internal result of pleasing Krishna and growing in our devotion of growing closer to Krishna. At one level, Krishna told Arjuna to fight so that the Kurukshetra war could be won. Hmm? And Krishna says, do not be attached to the results. Offer the results to me. But then Krishna actually in the 11th chapter shows the Vishwarupa in which he shows how the enemies are already killed. 
मयई वैते निहत पूर्वमेव निमित्त मात्रम भव सौविसाची 11.33 सेज दैट बाय माय अरेंजमेंट एवरीबॉडी ऑल योर ओपोनेंट्स आर किल्ड सो दिस मींस दैट एक्चुअली कृष्णा ऑलरेडी हैज द रिजल्ट आल्सो व्हेन यू से वी आर मेंट टू ऑफर द रिजल्ट टू कृष्णा Arjuna is supposed to offer the result, but Krishna already has the result. So, what is Arjuna to offer? Arjuna is to offer his endeavor. So, the word rite, rite pitam na bhavishanti sarva. Acharya explained that the word rite can mean two things. Except for you, everyone is going to be killed in this battlefield. Hmm? The other is that even without you, everyone will be killed. <laughs> That means one is that you will be victorious, and everybody else is going to perish. The other is, even if you don't fight, still the you could say in today's parlance, the match is fixed. <laughs> <laughs> so Krishna has arranged for the results. So all that we can do is endeavor, and actually this understanding is very empowering. Because the world judges us based on the results, we we may study very hard, but somehow, say if we study for a graduate degree three years and then in the fourth year there is a crisis in our family, and we are not able to able to complete our degree, then the world will say you just don't have a degree. The world is not going to care for that. The world judges us by the results, but our Lord judges us by our endeavors. And in that sense, the world judges us by things which are not in our control, and that's that's we can say is unfair. But Krishna sees our heart; he sees our endeavor. And in that sense, understanding that we can be purpose-driven and that we can please Krishna simply by our endeavor is very empowering. It helps us to see that actually, whatever situation life sends my way, I can still keep growing in my bhakti. I can still keep growing towards Krishna, and ultimately Krishna will bring good out. And what will be that good? We'll see in a future class. How actually the queen, the Brahmana patnis come and they give lavish amounts of food to all the gopas, so they get also what they're looking for. But Krishna has his own plan, which will be revealed in due course. <laughs>